So guys, uh, back for another video here. We are going to do some more dismantling as well. What else am I gonna do today? Yeah, I'm gonna take off the carb and everything, sort of get the stuff on my engine, uh, start dismantling that. Um, might even make it to taking off the distributor. Like I said, um, man, I'm a weekend warrior. I take like three or four hours on Saturday and try to get this stuff done. So that's definitely what I'm gonna do. But yeah, it's coming along slowly. I'm gonna show you this. These right here, make sure. I uh, got those off eBay, uh, dude, automotive, eBay. If you haven't checked that out, do it. Anyway, they are so I can actually document like my wires, like where they went, where they go, so on and so forth. Recommended if you're doing this. Uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna show you this. So, on this GoPro, GoPro Hero 3, my shop GoPro. You guys can't really tell, but this is really granulated. Got this from a canvas something company. Um, they're sending me a new one. You guys probably don't see what's wrong with it, but it's uh, pretty rough. But I do like that it's canvas and everything. I thought that would be a cool shop thing. So this one's going out here. Uh, not even Micah did it. Uh, not the canvas, but the artwork for it. Pretty cool stuff. You guys check it out on 4400 World. They got me posted on the Instagram. Um, but yeah, on Facebook and stuff. And uh, yeah, you guys can hit them up and see if there's something that you want to hit. So definitely an idea. But all right, I'm going to get going on this. Stop talking and uh, do some dismantling. So. So yeah, I think that's it. Let's get this done. Update, uh, definitely going to remove all of the bolts for the headers. And got the oil pressure setting unit off, um, as well as the T-fitting to the actual like aftermarket gauge. Got that loose, gonna be removing that as well. This right here will not come off. Uh, what else next to come out? Remove a lot of stuff off the firewall, probably, I don't know, before or after I remove the engine. I'll remove it at some point, I don't know when.
Dude, I'm having a hell of a time <laughs> getting to my oil pan bolt. I'm trying to go from the front. It's not happening. So, yeah. Holy crap. Wow. Okay. That's why you do your own work, because that bolt was freaking spot welded on and RTV'd so much I couldn't even get a wrench on it. And I'm wondering why my oil is like pitch black. I didn't do an oil change that long ago. That's why you do your own work. Don't have Walmart, where the hell did I take it? I don't even know. No more old changes from anybody else. I'm doing my own. <laughs> yes. realizing just how Joe Dierte my freaking engine is and uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this or not but I'm going to be painting basically inner fenders up to the firewall here probably up to here actually um, after sanding some of this down because this oh, right here the um, steering gearbox is leaking like a sieve so no matter what I've done in the past I haven't been able to do it I do have a plan to not go steering gearbox, so that's a cool future thing that if you guys want to stick around, for sure. Uh, I guess I'll do that YouTube thing. Please uh, like, subscribe, and uh, click that bell icon. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm gonna find something. Let's see, can you guys spot it? Yeah, there you go. But anyway, gonna try to find a different way to not use the draggling style gearbox uh, steering, as well as I'd like to eliminate the springs with something else so all just ideas right now could totally fall flat on its face but um, yeah anyway I'm rambling so yeah there you go that's pretty much the update here I'm just going to continue tearing it apart so I'm going to close it out here uh, we took a bunch of parts off as you guys can tell uh, future plans if you guys are curious I'm taking all of this stuff off cleaning up the wires definitely gonna run them underneath probably inside of the fender a little bit I'm not going for full like for full like wire you know where you can't see a wire or anything but um, I am going to clean it up and then I'm gonna paint everything I didn't know if you knew or not there but I'm from Fargo yeah, not really it doesn't snow like this where I'm from, southern Missouri, every now and again. But it's like negative two, four inches or probably more. Looks like it finally stopped snowing. Uh, well, I can't roll my truck out so I can take the engine out. So I think that's gonna have to wait another few days or a week. So maybe I'll post something next. Just a heads up in case something doesn't get posted. <laughs> See ya.